G'day folks, Staley from Gotta Be Trippin'. This week we're going to talk about my last two weeks in Tirana, Albania. Tirana is the capital city, I'm going to run through uh, what I did, where I stayed and what it cost me. Stick around, I'll tell you what some of the good things to do are, what some of the not so good things to do are, and why you should definitely put Tirana, Albania on your travel list. So as with my, me of my other videos, I'm going to do a run through of where I stayed to start with. I stayed in a little uh, Airbnb apartment in, uh, in an area off the old bazaar in Tirana. Um, nice little apartment, I rated it about 4 out of 5, um, well worth having a look at. Got to say though, not a massive fan of the old bazaar area, it's not true old town, but it's also a long way sort of modern. So. Um, can't say that I'd choose to stay the uh, old bazaar area again, but certainly uh, enjoyed the time I was there. Okay, so I've just checked into uh, this apartment in Tirana, so I'm just going a quick walk through. Um, come in this way first. Bathroom. Um, it's all fairly standard. I have actually already washed my hands, that's why the soap looks like it's used. It's not that they've given me a room where we've used soap. Um, the shower seems to be a really common thing in Europe to not have shower screens. Um, they must really love cleaning showers because the more the water gets out, the more work you've got to do cleaning the place. It doesn't make sense to me. Main bedroom. Now, I've come in here and I can't find a light switch. So let's turn some light on, I hope. Yep. Um, using my camera light. Because I can't for the life of me find a light switch for this room. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Into the kitchen. I haven't actually walked in here yet. So oh, there's the iron. There's a whole bunch of cupboards. Oh, what have we got in here? A very sad and lonely looking wine glass all the time. But that's okay. I'll put it to some... Oh no, there's the second one. There you go. I'll put them to good use. That's for sure. Oh look, there's a coffee machine. I didn't actually see that in the ad. I'll have to see if I can uh, work out what type of pods it uses. Uh, range wood and four burner pod. No, sorry, hub. Um, check out the view from the kitchen. So, apart from a very old um, Soviet era or sorry, communist era um, apartment building, you're looking directly out onto the bazaar. This is what I mean by it's uh, in need of some work. Um, but, I mean, all in all, though. It meets my needs. A bit of washing, a funny looking little dude. I love those drawers. Shame there's nothing in it. I could always put something in it. Um, what else have we got? Uh, knives and forks. There's a serrated knife there, which. Uh, oh, good. Corkscrew. I'm not going to go through every drawer. Oh, here we go. How sharp is this? Any blunter, and you could bash someone to death with it, but you'd never stab them. So, as with most Airbnbs, nobody's thought about the idea of maybe actually having sharp utensils. Fridge, nice big fridge. Hat rack for all my hats. I've got one hat, I could put it on there. Around into the living space, which is where I spent most of my time. Um, haven't actually sat in these seats yet. Just uh, spin around some um, mass produced artwork on the wall, which actually looks kind of nice though. Nice big screen TV, which is very nice. Um, and then there's this area, which the owners refer to as a patio. It's kind of just an extension that's been built up a bit with a couple of bean bags. And like I said, awesome view down into the bazaar. These open up. I'm not going to open the other one up. But there you go. That view is actually what talked me into booking this place. So that's it really. Now, I might switch the camera around and go and sit on the couch for a second. Just thought I'd do a little bit of a talk to camera, sort of lounging back on the lounge for this last bit. Um, 
the room or the apartment from first in, in, initial view looks reasonable um like i said it's pretty dated um and uh there's probably a bit of renovation work that could be done um if this were my place I'd probably spend two or three thousand australian and uh have it looking really schmick really easy uh, um but it's good it's um the telling point will be in two weeks time when i've finished staying here and i'll do a, a follow-up video then the guy that's the host and there's a couple of co-hosts that's another big selling point for this place uh despite its datedness and so on because they are very responsive and very willing to help out they got me in early um so massively grateful for that because i've just done like 28 odd hours of flying and sitting at airports so I'm bloody exhausted so really appreciate that um anyway uh, that's right that's what i was going to say see there's that's how tired i am i forgot what i was going to say when you come into this place you come down this little out, uh, alleyway um and it's all looking pretty old i mean um graffiti all over the wall steps coming up to the room have been broken and they're pretty grubby and that and that's the neighborhood feel when you walk downstairs until you're like 100 meters away and then you're in the bazaar which is bizarre <laughs> sorry i had to do that um so had i seen that when i was booking this place no way in hell i would have booked it so a smart move on the uh the owner to not put that in the head because he'd probably have a lot of trouble getting this place booked anyway um i'll be back in a couple of weeks time with the rest of this video and we'll see uh see what we thought and that's also when i'll tell you how much it costs for that couple of weeks so what were some of my big take-homes for Tirana? I think, first of all, there's a real marked difference between the older, old bazaar area and some of that old communist uh, neighbourhood space and some of the more developed areas. I'll show you some footage of some of the, the roadscapes and all that sort of stuff. Uh, there are some beautiful areas of that city, well worth having a look at. It's only fitting that my uh, first video of uh, Albania should be where I am now. Uh, this is uh, Skandenberg Square in Tirana, Albania. Just panning around while I talk to you. This is my first video since arriving in uh, Albania. Been here for two days, but hugely jet lagged after a awful uh, amount of flying and airport layovers uh, coming from Vietnam to here. Um, but anyway, this is a fairly iconic landmark, so a bit of a bit of a pan around. So. The square is um, um, surrounded by a number of iconic buildings. Right in front there at the moment is the Opera House. Um, over there we've got the clock tower. Scandenberg himself sitting on his horse over there next to the carousel. Mosque. And the National History Museum with that amazing fresco on the front. Um, a lot of new development going on too. I'll just pan up for this building. So it's awesome to see there's another new building going up over there. So it's pretty cool to see that because where I am, um, and I will do another video of the outdoor area around where I am uh, later, probably not today, but later on. It's very old. It's, it's only like literally in that direction just past that big crane there so it's very close so um hopefully eventually some of the buildings around that area will get uh, renewed aka bulldozed and replaced the building i'm in is i mean the the apartment is perfectly fine for what i want but the building itself is old communist era pretty rough uh definitely uh definitely not a long-term viability um, lots of uh, lots of structural issues and there's even a grey water drain that's completely broken and every morning after everyone's had their showers you walk out into the car park and it reeks from uh, from the grey water so hopefully sometime in the next 10 years or so someone will bulldoze that and put something a lot better up anyway I'm just gonna do a bit of a walk around the square um, so I'll just filter this in and out and uh, then I'll get back on when uh, We've got something more to say. 
So guys, just a quick little uh, recap on what I just walked through that area. It's a really nice looking uh, atmosphere, really nice outdoor eating areas. Pretty touristy, prices reflect the fact that it's pretty touristy when you look at the prices there. But to be totally honest with you, yeah, I wouldn't hesitate. Um, where I am over, which is generally in that direction, um, to the uh, old bazaar. Uh, lots of outdoor eating areas there too. But the area has just not got the, uh, the vibe. It's, uh, it's frankly, the, the whole uh, bazaar area is pretty dirty. So if you wanted somewhere that was really nice and clean, had a nice atmosphere, you're probably gonna pay a little bit more for it. Come down here just near the old the Tarana Castle. Now here's a trick for new players. Most European cities, when they talk about a castle, they mean a castle. Tirana, not so much. Don't be tricked by looking at Google Maps and thinking there's actually a Tirana castle. There probably was a few hundred years ago, and you can see an old wall here or there, but basically Tirana castle is one massive, great big tourist trap. I recommend you don't do anything other than just walk through and take a few photos. Don't sit down there to eat you'll be paying two, three times the price that you would anywhere else. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's just an absolute tourist trap that I strongly recommend you avoid at all costs. Now this next one I didn't actually do any videoing inside of because I, I just thought it was a little bit more uh, uh, appropriate not to, but make every effort to go and have a look at bunk hut. There are two bunk huts. I only had time to go to the one in the, uh, the city centre, uh, but it details some of the uh, some of the things that happened during uh, Enver Hoxha's uh, rule, um, some of the things about uh, the, the political and uh, um, the secret police side of things, it's, it's a fascinating thing to have a look at. You definitely uh, will learn a lot, um, but yeah, I didn't want to take uh, photos and videos in there and I, I just felt it was a little bit disrespectful to do that. So check out, uh, check out that if you can. The um, there's, there's a whole range of other things you can do around Toronto. It's just a really nice place to walk. It's a very walkable city. Um, and it was refreshing after having just come back from Vietnam to actually find that people took notice of pedestrian crossings here because they don't in Vietnam. Um, another little fascinating thing, and I've done a little short on it, which I'll link above, um, about um, just the, uh, the Tanners Bridge. It's one of the very few true old things in uh, Tirana, and it's it's just this little narrow bridge right beside a road. Um, talk about old meets new. It's it's fascinating. So uh, go for a walk along there. It's just a bridge, but it's just a beautiful sight in the middle of a uh, an otherwise metropolitan city. So if you've ever uh, looked up Tirana, Albania, um, and looked at tourist attractions, one of the things that's commonly talked about is the Tirana Pyramid. Um, I'm just walking into it now. I don't know if I'm coming in the back way, but if this is a normal entry in, I think someone forgot to hire the gardener. Um, for a capital city, and for one of the most commonly talked about uh, tourist attractions, she's looking a bit unkempt. But uh, let's have a look. And, uh, see what it's like, as you can see as I'm coming up. There's a pyramid coming up there. Lots of steps. That's going to do my knee a lot of good. I'm not going to wuss it out and see if there's an elevator though, I'll uh, actually have a look. But yeah, it's uh, definitely in need of a little bit of a gardening effort. A bit of a whipper strip. So there she is. That's really steep. There's no way in hell my knee is going to let me go up there, so I'm actually not going to. Uh, those of you who haven't caught up in uh, past videos. I don't know what's going on, to be honest. What's going on here? Dude's sitting on the outside edge of a car driving along. Crazy. Um, so there it is. Um, oh yeah, that's right, that's what I was saying. If you hadn't caught up from previous videos, when I was in Vietnam, I um, tore my uh, medial uh, collateral ligament in my left knee. So steps really aren't cool. So I am not going up there. So 
as I'm walking through this place, it looks to me as though there are plans. I mean, there's lots and lots of empty rooms. That's obviously a meeting room, but I just went past one that's been set up as a cafe. There's about three other cafes around. But all of the internal stairways are blocked off. You can't go up them. Um, just like someone's wanting to set up some sort of gallery or something or kids space in there. Um, so obviously there's plants, but at the moment there's one massive underutilised facility. Oh, and there is an elevator, but it's staff only. So, too bad for you. So anyway, I'm not going up the top because elevator staff only and like I said, my knee's not going to cope with those steps. So, off to Toronto Park I go. Another take home for me is just the, um, the, the, the green space around the city. There's so much beautiful green space. Even when you think about Scandenberg uh, Square in uh, the centre of Tirana, there's, there's even great space beside that. So you've got this lovely great big square, but you've also got uh, uh, green space just off the side of it as well. Yeah, um, yeah just be, while I'm talking about green space though, I'll also drop into a bit of video about uh, Tirana Park. There are two parks in Tirana. I only made it to one of them and it was a beautiful park. I, um, I was really impressed with Tirana Park. It was massive, really, really nice. Um, well worth if you want somewhere to go for a walk. It took me about 20 minutes to walk there from um, old, uh, old Bazaar area and then I spent a good couple of hours walking around the park. Alrighty, walking into Tirana Park. I've got to say it's a lot more developed than I expected for, uh, for what other videos have shown me. Looks alright though. Um, it's, it's massive so for all I know we'll get over the top of this hill and it'll be bush and dirt tracks, which is kind of what I was actually hoping for. So we'll see what it is. Um, but so far it's uh, exceeding expectations. You can probably hear me panting as I'm walking. I'm a fat old man and now I've got this big uphill slope to walk up. So I won't keep the video running while I pant away. I'm sure you've got better things to listen to than me. And I'll uh, start again on the other side of the hill when I finish panting. So I was planning on trying to find the, uh, the lake. I think I'm going the wrong direction, strangely enough. Shouldn't be too much of a surprise that if you go uphill, you're probably less likely to find the lake. I'm sure there's places in the world that'll contradict that, but I think I should be on that path down there. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a double back. I suppose I should cut across, uh, could cut across country. I kind of feel like that'd be a bit rude. And they've got these great wide paths, so I'll just walk along there. So, uh, so far though, Toronto Park is just this really nice natural bushland environment. And uh, I just noticed my camera was as lopsided as hell. Hope I don't look too crooked to you. Um, anyway, yeah, it's a beautiful natural environment. Um, I'm glad I did the walk down here. Gee, Google Maps is out as far as how long it takes to walk places. They told me it was going to take me, uh, I think it was 45 minutes to walk here be lucky to have taken me 15 and I'm a fat old man so I don't walk fast so um I don't know maybe uh maybe they got some uh overly cautious people in uh, Google Maps that are um allowing for the mobile mobility impaired folks definitely not a 45 minute walk from old bazaar there anyway I'll keep walking see if I can find uh, some water well, I've got to say, this is not something I expected to see in uh, Tirana. This um, is a small uh, Commonwealth War uh, uh, cemetery. So, um, all of these guys are from uh, uh, World War II. Uh, what have we got? We've got uh, Royal Air Force, um, Royal Norfolk Regiment, um, Highland uh, Light Infantry. Wow, there's uh, a bit of a spread of people um, memorialised here. Um, yeah, I just didn't expect to see uh, uh, our Commonwealth War graves 
uh, monument in Albania. I clearly don't know enough about World War II history in Albania. Okay, don't know if you can see it through those trees, but I'm thinking I just found the water. So, I'm just going to continue down this way. Actually looks like that water's not on the path. I was going to walk down into that little clearing area, but then I noticed a, a fairly intimate couple down there. So perhaps I better not go down and disturb their uh, quiet time. Alright, I'll keep walking down here. I'll start filming again when we get close to something worth filming, other than me walking. So, what are the downsides with Tirana? I've, I've got to say, it didn't really ring any um, um, great bells with me. Um, it's nice enough, uh, but there's also some pretty uh, pretty old and dilapidated areas, including the area I was staying. That said, um, it's still uh, got the makings of a very, very nice city. Would I live there? No, I wouldn't. It, um, but certainly uh, certainly a nice city to visit so I'll drop a spreadsheet just up to the side here now of um, what uh, it cost me to uh, spend two weeks in Tirana I stayed in an Airbnb um, I've got a couple of consistent costs they're the ones highlighted in blue um, that doesn't matter where I am they are costs I have every uh, every month so this is two weeks worth of that And then there's um, the, the direct costs associated with where I was staying. Now, again, the Airbnb I was staying at, it really, it, it, it listed as a full kitchen. Yeah, it had very few facilities, so couldn't really cook in there. Um, so I tended to eat out every night again. Um, I don't want to keep doing that in my travels, so that's something I'll have to take into account when I'm traveling. So anyway, um, it still wasn't a bad price um, staying there for, uh, for two weeks. Um, Next step from here is uh, to head over to Duras in uh, Albania. Um, really looking forward to Duras, so stick around for that video.